Hello and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Lou, the Disability Policy for All. Today I have the great fortune to be talking to Laura Fortman, who is the Deputy Administrator at the Wage and Hour Division of the, of the United States Department of Labor. So, welcome, Laura. Thank you, Liz. It's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, today we'll be talking to her about the home care rule. Um, we have talked in the past that there's a new rule that the United States has um, formed about, um, about wage and hours. So, and it's called the home care rule. And we're talking about that guy today. The first question is, what did the home care guide and what did the purpose of it? Sure. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you, Liz, for helping us with this guide. So it is something that we do have available um, for folks. After conversations with you and others, we realize that even though we think this rule is very simple, it basically means that home care workers need to be paid the same minimum wage and overtime as people doing this kind of work um, in other settings. But um, after some of the comments you had and questions, we thought that perhaps putting a guide together with some simple checklists and some information about when do you have to pay, how do you have to pay, might be, might be helpful. So the guide basically helps anybody who is using a home care worker figure out how to make sure that that person is being paid correctly. Thank you. And maybe this video, if people can't read, read the guide because they can't read, they can listen to this video and they can hopefully learn more about that. Oh, that's this, a good point. This mm -hmm. rule. Yeah. The next question is, briefly, can you, can you help the viewers understand the purpose of the home care final rule? Yeah, I think in a, it, the simplest way of thinking about it is that at the Department of Labor, we think people need to be um, paid for the hours that they work. And this group of workers were not receiving those same minimum wage and overtime protections that other workers um, received. And we just thought that wasn't fair. And so the rule basically says everybody who is working needs to be paid for all of the hours that they work. And when you talk about workers, are we talking about direct care workers, DSPs, what we call? Yeah, and they can, and you're right, Liz, they have a lot of different names. Some people call them direct care workers, um, some people call them personal care attendants. Um, it, it, this guide um, helps under, you understand that it doesn't matter what the person is called, but if they're, perf they're doing certain kinds of work, that, that this helps you figure out how to make sure that they're paid um, the right way for all of those hours that they do work. Okay, thanks. Where, the, where can the viewers go to learn more about this home care final rule? We have a website with lots of information on it. And that is www.dol.gov forward slash home care, H O M E C A R E. And that website has lots of information, um, some other webinars, and uh, we also have a phone number if that's easier for people. And that number is 1 866. Four eight seven nine two four three, and hopefully between either the website or the phone call, people can get the information that they need. Okay, thank you. Is there, is, 
Is there anything else that I missed or that you would like to talk about about this home care role? Well, I think one of the things that I want to say is even though um, I was talking about people need to be paid for the hours that they worked, we want to be clear that not every interaction in the home care setting is work. Um, and uh, we recognize that, and this guide also talks about the fact that people have strong um, personal relationships, and so sometimes they may be working, and sometimes they're engaged in a personal relationship, and that's perfectly okay. Okay, thank you. And if you have any questions about this or any other policy issues, please go to the AUCG webpage and look for this week's in brief. And if you have any questions about this edition of Tuesdays with Liz, please leave them in the space below. Thank you and have a nice day. Thanks again, Laura. Thank you, Liz. Bye. Bye.